Good afternoon. Someone didn't like what State Senator Jacob Candelaria told News 13 in an interview last week. He says he was threatened after supporting the governor's choice to lead CYFD. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart went to the governor's office for their reaction. She's live at the state capitol. Gabby. Jessica, a lot of people say Monique Jacobson is not a good fit to lead the controversial department, but it seems one critic took it too far. I think it's an exciting choice. That's what Democratic Senator Jacob Candelaria told News 13 last week about Governor Susana Martinez's choice for head of the Children, Youth and Families Department, Monique Jacobson. Secretary Jacobson in my workings with her has proven herself to be a strong leader. Candelaria says that interview sparked a threatening email to his personal account. I respect and welcome those who disagree with my support of Secretary Jacobson's nomination, Candelaria told us in a written statement. Threats, however, hold no place in our civic conversation. It's certainly very disappointing. I think that New Mexicans expect from their state government that, 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 there, that there be perhaps disagreements but that they be civil. Jacobson's background includes marketing and advertising as the tourism secretary. Other lawmakers spoke out against her heading CYFD, an agency under scrutiny in the years since nine-year-old Omari Varela was kicked to death by his mom. CYFD had the family on their radar. Candelaria wouldn't go into detail about what the threat said, only that it involved his vehicle. Both he and Martinez's office say disagreements in politics are inevitable, but it doesn't excuse personal threats. There are a lot of key Democrats who have supported the governor and, and her pick for uh, the CYFD secretary, and that's fantastic. That's, that's the kind of bipartisan work that we should be doing in New Mexico.